I have to start off this with saying forgive me for the way this video is, man. I just got off work. Like, just got off, man. Um, I just want to talk to my Lions fans, man. Uh, We're going to talk about the Seattle game. We're going to talk about Snacks Harrison. But first, Don Burr, we, we, we got to talk. And when I say we gotta talk, Don, I'm talking about like actually talk, so so we we can hash out some things, man. <clears throat> Not singling you out, but I'm I, like I like I was telling Don, I, I'm just sick of the old Lions fans. When I say the old ones, I'm talking about the niggas that's old in age. Oh, I've been watching for thirty five years, young whip a snapper, and they ain't never did nothing. Then stop watching my fucking football team. I don't need people who, who dwell in pessimism. I mean, done. We beat the New England Patriots. I don't care if we didn't win another game. I don't care what's going on. We beat the New England Patriots. There is no way you can be a fan of the Detroit Lions. And after that win, you're not ecstatic or impressed because we never beat the Patriots. Tom Brady has never lost to the Lions. We hadn't had a 100-yard rusher in years. That's a serious win. That's a win that the Lions couldn't get on their best day. But they got it. That's impressive. We go dominate Green Bay 26-0. In the first half, impressive. We go dominate the Dolphins, impressive. Three good teams, we dominated. So, yeah, we 3-3, three and three, but we're the best 3-3 three and three team in the league by far. We're better than some 4-2 and two teams, some 4-3 and three teams, just like the one we just beat. So, that's how we are, man. And um, I just, I'm just sick of Lions fans with this pessimism. If you don't think, if we 3-3 three and three and you're like, well, they ain't going to be nothing or... I don't know that I don't want you here, bro. You either on the boat or you not. You either think the Lions gonna do something this year, or you don't. There's no wait and see. I'm talking to you, Don. What do you think? Comment. Do you think we doing something this year or not? You say yes, then you with us. You say no. If we do something, I'm coming for you. That's all. It's just simple as that. There's no. If you've been watching for thirty years and you then why believe in a state we ain't gonna be shit, so I can move on. Okay, and that's to all y'all Lions fans, because it's a lot of, not just you down, like, I'm not singling you out. It's a lot of Lions fans with this pessimism. Remember I told you about the old guy who been who was watching for 50 years, and he told me we was going to win, uh, we was only going to win four games the, the whole season, bro. We already had three, so you know that's bullshit, but on to the Seahawks. Hey, uh, Lions fans, Lion Nation out there. First of all, before we get to it, I'm going to say this first. Temper your excitement. These Seahawks are for real. Now, before we get to the Seahawks, one of the best things happened to me today. You know, a lot of good things happened to me today, actually. But when I saw Snacks Harrison, I lost. Like, I completely lost it. Like, I mean, I'm at work cheesing and smiling like I just got a couple paycheck. I mean, I lost my shit. Snacks Harrison? Are you on our squad? On our squad. So you telling me the Detroit Lions have one glaring weakness on their football team. Good good on special teams. Cover team kind of shaky. Good on special teams. Martin Prater. Great quarterback. Great offensive line. Great running back. Great receivers. Great at getting sacks. Good linebacking core. Good secondary. What's the one thing? Good coaching. The one thing about the Lions. That's a serious weakness. The defensive tackle position. Stopping the run, and we go get a nigga. That's <laughs> I'm laughing because, man, this team is in. Man, let me. I'm just stop. We go get the guy that that's been number one uh, at the stopping the run the last three years. An all pro defensive tackle. We go get him. Oh, it's over now. And that's what the title of this video, Lions are going all in. Lions are trying to do something this year because they could have easily let that defensive tackle position be a, be a glaring weakness. You know, shore it up a little bit with Caldwell level signings, yeah, I'm going to say it. And just deal with the weakness because, you know, you can't always fix your team. Bob Quinn was like, hell no. Nah. Bob Quinn, like, I'm about winning the games. Bob Quinn, like, I want to win a playoff game. Bob Quinn, like, I want to go to the Super Bowl. Bob Quinn, like, I want some success. 
Hell no. Oh, Giants got a fire sale. This is exactly what happened. Bob Quinn, he saw Blake drop 50. And then he did. Hello, is this Stan Man Gundy? Uh, yeah, Bob Quinn. Um, you know, my impression is terrible. Uh, yes, I would just like to know how do you finesse a team? What do you mean? Well, you know, I see how you finesse the Clippers and you got Blake Griffin. Uh, so how do you finesse a team? Well, see, this is what you do. And then Bob Quinn called the Giants. Yeah, we'll give you a, you know, fifth round pick for Snack Harrison. Finesse God. Come on, bro. Snacks. He could be worth a late third round pick. With, with with his talent, man. But it's a fire sale in the Giants, man. Hey, give us one. Give us Evan Ingram. He The offensive players are probably safe, but give us Evan Ingram. <laughs> like, we do need a tight end besides Michael Roberts. This is amazing for the Lions. Now, now the team, that 11 5 prediction is looking real good. Dog, we just shored up the one glaring weakness on our football team. Now, it's not going to be shored up instantly, but I'm sorry, bro. Snack Harrison is going to stop them. You won't see no... 57-yard uh, touchdown, 55 with snacks on the team. I don't know you won't. You might see a 40-yard run, but you won't see a TD. Um, okay, on to the Seahawks, man. Uh, yeah, this team is for real. I ain't underestimating this team. If you go type in Seattle Seahawks on Google right now, you look at the articles. See, that's what I do. I look at the articles so I know what the team and what the media and what the fans think about their own team. And they like Seahawks to go eleven and five. They like Seahawks gonna be great. They like Seahawks making the playoffs. They like Seahawks this. Like it's very, very optimistic in Seattle right now. And they ready. They ready. They ready for us. They done scheme for it. Like like I said, this is a a complete trap game. We might actually lose this game. I don't think I don't think we will. But it's very possible. But I'm gonna tell you, Lions fans. Look, look. Can y'all just trust me now? I told y'all when we was on two. Told y'all when we was one and three. T give me the benefit of the doubt. We lose this game. I don't want to say it means nothing because every game means something. But it almost means nothing. Why? Because we got two division games. Those are the games that matter. Like I said, Lions could lose every game for the rest of the season and sweep the division and make the playoffs. To me, it's about this division. We we done uh we done went three and three through the first six games. Uh, last few Lions teams that went three and three made the playoffs. So, with Caldwell, without Carry On, without O Line. But anyway, I just have to say all that so y'all know. Um. Anyway, yeah, the Seahawks are sixth in defense. They got a good defense even without the Legion of Boom, but they're banged up. Even though they're sixth in defense, I don't think their defense is better than the Cowboys defense. And I'm saying that to say I think we'll score points. I don't think we'll. I don't know if we'll score thirty though. But it's time for the Lions to have that offensive game where we 5-5 five or five in the red zone. Stafford, it's time for that Stafford multiple touchdown game. Will it be this game? That would be nice, but I don't know. To me, this game is about the same thing last game was about Stafford and carry on Johnson, bro. Like, Stafford, don't turn the ball over. Make the throws. Lead us on drive. I mean, Stafford led us on so many big drives. I mean, every time, like, if you was watching the live stream, when it was 10-7, like, oh, shit, Stafford. You want to win this game. You want to show you big shit. Lead us on a drive. Boom. Touchdown. Then they scored again. I think it was like 2014. I'm like, okay, Stafford. You're going to have to dial something up. Let us on a drive. A long, like, six-minute drive. Field goal. Okay, boom. And then they, they came forward again. I'm like, okay, Stafford. When they scored that third touchdown, I'm like, bro, let's see what you about. What you going to do with it? And he went down and brought us home again. That's the fuck I'm talking about. And that's definitely what I need today. Because, oh, Russell Wilson, he coming to play. You know why he coming to play? Because the one thing people don't know about the Seahawks, you, do your intel, do your research on these other football teams because that's how the Dolphins end up, like how they were. That's how we end up how we was against the Jets. Because we don't do research on these other teams. Last three weeks, Seattle offensive line has been way better. This Seattle team that y'all seen in the beginning of the season, this Seattle team that y'all have notions about, Throw that shit out the fucking door, bro. This is not... This is like the Lions ain't the same as we was at the, this, at the beginning of the season. This ain't the same Seattle. This is a different Seattle... See, I'm trying to tell you. This is a different Seattle Seahawks team, man. They trying to come in here and really beat us. And they are very capable of doing it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we can't... This is a real trap game. And, but like I said, we lose this game go 3-4. and four. We were 3-4 and four last year. Still made the playoffs. And that's what called well. I'm not saying that to say, oh, we can just do this. I'm saying... 
This team is resilient. Like I said, these division games matter. That game, you know, but I feel like this is one of the games we have to win. Like this game in the Miami game, since we lost to the Jets in the uh, 49ers, two games we weren't supposed to lose. Now you got to win some games that maybe, I don't want to say, now you just got to win some games. Like Dolphins, that's the game we, we had to win. Like this game, because we lost early, we got to win this game. I'm saying that for seeding. Because you never know what happens in the season. So I'm saying that for seeding purposes, it'd be better if we won this game. And Seattle trying to make the playoffs, man. They beat us. It's going to be like Atlanta all over again if they record is good. So this is a very important game. But it won't make or break the season. But it's an important game, man. I just want the Lions to keep that momentum going. I said I think the Lions will go on a five-game win streak. And then, you know, it's going to end in Carolina. I mean, against Carolina, man. Y'all should see what they did. Carolina, bro. It's just not a good matchup, bro. Seahawks. I actually don't think they're a good matchup either. Golden Tate, every time he plays the Seahawks, he's trash. And I don't get to say they're going to be time talking about Golden Tate. I ain't going to say shit else. I hope for once against the Seahawks, he can show up. And the reason I'm not underestimating the Seahawks team is because Stafford and the Lions have never beat them before. I think, yeah, I mean, I won't say never, but the last two times we played the Seahawks, we ain't win, bro. And that was, even though they cheated, that was at home and one in uh, uh, Seattle. We got to beat this team. Like I said, man, this is the last thing. Lions have been going through steps throughout the season. To me, this is another step. Patricia had to get over his first game. Then the team had to buy in a little bit. We did with the 49ers. We bought in. We got better. Then we had to go out and do, do something impossible, beating the Patriots. And then after that, we had to start fixing the, our team, making it more complete. So we went out against Green Bay, and we basically used Green Bay as a practice dummist, dummy to complete our team. Got through that, went through the bye week, and now we, we rolled into the Dolphins with a complete team, and we finally won our road, road game. So the the demons we had to exercise. First, beating an elite team like Tom Brady. Demon, exercise. Second, beating the great Aaron Rodgers. Demon, exercise. Third, winning a road game. First road game with Matt Patricia. Beating a good team on the road. Exercise. Now, it's time for... I think Seattle might be favorite, but I don't know. But now it's time for you to be the team that you're supposed to be. I'm not saying we're supposed to be Seattle because we're both three and three, but you're supposed to beat this team. You ain't beat the team you're supposed to beat yet. Um, Packers technically wasn't supposed to beat because they got Aaron Rodgers. Time for you to beat the team you're supposed to beat, man, Patricia. This is another milestone. Let's get it, man. Three one three, J Mo. Let me know what y'all think about this game, man. I wish I had a more in depth review for y'all, but you know how life is, man. Um, shout out to you, Don. It's no hard feelings, man. I'm just saying, bro. You either with us now or you not, bro. Like, I don't like that shit. You either on the bandwagon or you not. And I don't care if we three and three or one and three. You either on the bandwagon or you not, bro. You trying to tell y'all, man. This is an eleven and five football team. If we stay healthy, health is a rate is a hundred percent in the NFL. I mean injury rate. So you know how that is. But I'm telling you, we healthy. We're eleven and five winning into division. Why? Our division. I won't say it isn't that good. It isn't, actually. It's just the NFL sucks. <laughs> and because, like, when you look at these teams, Minnesota, the Packers, the Lions, the Bears, are we roster-wise elite? No. But we beat up on a lot of teams because the NFC North is tough, and we beat up on each other. I mean, I keep saying that Xavier Rose is hurt. I don't know how long he's going to be hurt, but he better not be hurt for that Vikings game because who? Gonna, I've been saying, who's going to stop Kenny G? And he did get doubled a lot of the last game. And he had uh, Rashad, whatever, the all-pro corner, respect him, or safety, whatever he was. He's an all-pro defensive back. He had him on him. Kenny G, a young guy, you know? Hey, long video, but 313 J-Mo, man, I'm out of here. Shout-out to Bob Quinn for trying to, like, he trying to win now. He ain't about that other shit, bro.